Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time we uh, came back to Tatooine, and we talked to a bunch of the townsfolk, and we bought this fancy new droid, HK-47, who turns out to be uh, a lot more hostile than we initially expected for a protocol droid, that is. And he, can't, he is built for combat as well, so that's, that's interesting. Oh, we helped out some dude in the dunes. He had some droid problems, and we got to flex our math skills. That's cool. And now we're gonna go to down south, I suppose. But you know, there's there's some stuff to check around, check around here on the dunes, like this little refuse pile. It's probably goodies right here. Wait, what? Oh God! It's a drop. Alright, so, um, yeah, Vesla, you use Night Valor. I don't think it works on droids, though. Okay, you can stasis that yes. dude. Oh, or not. Oh, they all have, like, energy shields. What the hell? Alright, get behind this dude and attack him. Yeah, Bessel, you might want to heal yourself there. Yes. In fact, I'll heal you up too. What can I do? Oh god, she's down already. Oh god. Um. Okay, I didn't ask you to tag, I asked you to stasis. There we go. Alright, well, HK's down as well. So, this isn't good. Quit attacking. I don't tell you to attack. Alright, so that was the elite warrior. Hopefully... Hopefully I can get out of this, okay. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that was unfortunate. So let's just uh, load, back, load that back up again, shall we? I don't think my... Uh, I don't think I have an optimal team composition for this. Because like having only one melee class, that's like really, really setting me back. So let's go ahead and... Drop HK-47 and in favor of Jolie. There we go. Now we might actually be able to uh, take on these sand people. But just to be safe, we should probably do a quick save. Cause that was, that was pretty abysmal. Jolie, oh god. May I have a moment? There's something I wish to speak to you about. Yep, I figured it was only a matter of time until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it over with. I know you have issues with the order, but you are a Jedi, Jolie. You command the Force. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side, they don't mean the same to me as they do to you. I don't see in absolutes. Of course, Malak isn't evil. He's just misunderstood. I want to stop Malak as much as anyone. But I don't have to join the Order to do it. Look at Karth or Kandorus. They're with us in this quest, but they are Jedi. The capacity for good or evil, like the Force itself, is in all living creatures. And belonging to the Jedi Order, or the Sith, or any group, won't change what you are at your core. I see you are quite adamant. No doubt you've had ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn. But I appreciate the effort. But from now on, you can just think of me as any other non-Jedi in our little group. With a lightsaber. And force powers. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I, I like Jolie. He has a a very non extremist viewpoint on things. I think like he's the origin point of like the term Grey Jedi. Yeah, we we have some uh some sand people come to attack us. Oh no. Okay, Jolie, you will get Force Shield, and you, Vasla, will use Knight Valor on the rest of us. Now I need to use for Knight Speed again. What? I'm here. There we go. I should probably use a weapon that's good against their energy shields. I think I had something like that. No. Mandalorian Ripper. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't do a lot of damage though. No. Don't attack me. Attack them. I still got it. Oh, now they're after Joe Lee. Oh god, Jolie teleported. Alright, you, Jolie, will need to heal. And just to be on the safe side, let's have Vasila heal you up too. I'm here. <laughs> Take on this dude now. How's Jolie doing? He's about at half health, so let's heal him up too. Man, that that sand person has some serious air. Look at him. He like jump he jumped clear over everyone else's head. Holy cow. Like Air Jordan over there. Um Vasla, you heal up. And I will use night speed. Stop it. Use night speed. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Julie's not looking so hot. Vasla, use another heal. I will use one as well. Yes. What can I do? Alright, sweet. Awesome, awesome. I'll go ahead and replace my blaster again. Can I get anything off of these guys? No? I can't get their clothing for that quest? Alright, well, whatever. Let's, uh, open up our hard-earned refuse pile. Oh boy! Garbage! So exciting. And you need to heal up, Jolie. There we go. Sure. Okay, so... Yeah, those are... Those sand people out of the way. Let's go check out these guys. They look like they have a, uh, sort of an olden style sand crawler going on. Let's quick save. The sudden spike in difficulty is making things a little bit more difficult. You know, obviously. Hey dudes, what's going on? Of course I'm gonna loot this refuse pile. I'm sorry, garbage mo is more important than your lives. Hello, Jolie. Totally. Hello, Miner. I know where they came. I think the captain even saw them coming. Oh, okay. Maybe I should talk to the captain. Who are you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out. Another, another person who's space people. Irish. I would assume this was done by sand people. You would be right. 
came out of nowhere. Wait, oh God. Damn it. Here they come again. How did they do that? All right. You guys know the drill? Go ahead and get buffed up. And use nice speed on myself. What yes. can I do? Oh, these are just regular sand people warriors. I don't think these guys are as tough. Get behind them. Attack who I tell you to attack, dude. There we go. Oh god. Second wave, second wave. Alright, you guys know the drill, of course. Force shield. I'm sorry if this gets kind of annoying that I have to like buff up after every single battle, but you know, it's kinda of, it's kind of necessary. Like, especially with my build. I like I can't take physical punishment. Attack who I tell you to attack, dude. He just like auto attacks, whatever he feels like. Alright. Oh god, is there a third wave? Holy hell. Dude. Alright, how you doing, Jolie? Yeah, you're not doing so hot. Let's, uh... Have you heal. Just do a round of healing. I think two heals is enough. I'll go ahead and night speed myself again. Nice. And you... Force armor again. You will... I should probably use night speed on these guys. Nah, yes. they'll be fine. Try and stasis this dude. Nice. I can't wait until I can, like, increase my, my attack speed once again, like, get master speed, get three attacks. There we go. Awesome. Now, do the, any of those guys have remains? No? No? Well, I saved your asses. Thanks for the help, though. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. Well, I, I sort of have agreed to uh, try to stop the sand people attacks. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about that enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect their sand crawlers. That place is a fortress, a death trap. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. That is not my job. Uh, do you know anything in particular about the sand people? Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. Oh, so that's how they did it. Fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me, I'd sneak in. Well, actually, I'd just get back to Anchorhead. Yeah, the sand people are using turrets? They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. Alright, well, good to know. I have to go, though. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. 
the desert can have it. Ah, the Jarvis will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. And that's where Jawas get their sand crawlers. From these foolish offworlders who can't hold them off who can't hold off the sand people attacks. And then the Jawas come in and just eventually salvage it. So that's a, a neat little explanation there. And you wouldn't think that uh the sand people would just have like the, the manpower to keep up these constant attacks. I mean, canonically speaking, they're supposed to, like, pretty much just bolt at the first sign of... Oh god. Probably should have quicksaved. Alright, well, I'll just, uh, quicksave here. Yeah, they got, like, a bunch of elite warriors here now. Yes. Alright, you know the drill. Everybody buff up. Yes. Yes? Oh god, one of them teleported. <laughs> Alright. Well, as long as they're focusing on Bastila, that's acceptable. Oh. This one's stunned. Okay. Alright, nice job. Nice job, guys. Awesome. That wasn't nearly as, uh, as taxing as, as before. Yeah, as I was saying, like, canonically speaking, the, uh, the sand people were supposed to be, like, very conservative with their numbers. Like, if if they're if they get into a fight that they like know that they can't win, it's like basically they just run at the sound of everything. It's like that uh, scene at episode sure. four where like Obi Wan like did the little thing like with the the crate dragon call and scared him off. Like even though it was just like one dude, like like they they couldn't they couldn't afford to fight that if it, it was what they thought it was. Yeah, that's uh, that's normally how it how it normally is. It's like at the very first sign of resistance, like they just bolt, and like the only the only way they'll uh, get anything done usually is to attack in mass mass numbers or in ambushes like this. Yeah, it's like as soon as one of these guys dropped, like the other two would probably bolt canonically speaking. But, you know, game mechanics. What can you do? Heck, they'd probably bolt at the very first sign of the lightsabers. Like, as soon as you- as soon as these two ignited their lightsabers, these guys would probably, like, freaking run for their lives. Alright, you, uh... Oh god, stop running for me. Yeah. Alright, well, this guy's stunned, so I can afford to take him out. Or maybe not. Stop targeting me. Can I, like, stasis you? Without shooting you? The force fights with there me. There we go. Alright, good job, guys. I almost got my ass kicked there, but you know, good job. Really I need some healing. One more should do it. Oh. I guess that was a little bit more than necessary, but whatever. What's in this refuse pile? Oh, nothing. Wonderful. We got some crash speeders over here. Let's go ahead and check that out. Oh, we got frag mines. 
Wonderful. Let's go ahead and equip our handy dandy stabilizer gauntlets. <laughs> 